from LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica. This is Mornings, LA Late. It's a big morning on a big week, and boy, has it been a big week. We have the latest details of more earnings that came in, and there were surprises on the retail side. Target, Kohl's, Walmart. What do we learn on those earnings recession this week? We'll have the latest details across the board. Plus, in a big week, we had the data that came in on labor. And did we have a rise or a fall in jobless claims? Well, the latest details today across the board. Then we jump over to your benefit raises. Are your benefits still going up as much? We'll be looking at the latest data on the inflation. Plus, we have brand new data that came in from the housing market. It's relatively robust. We'll be looking at that. Plus, of course, the major breaking news that happened last weekend. Seven new stimulus checks became law. We'll have the latest details on those seven new stimulus checks plus the lifetime of benefits. They are in addition to the four stimulus checks, those three categories of checks we've been getting since the month of March. We're now up to 10 categories of four stimulus checks. Every U.S. state will go over all those incredible checks in today's broadcast from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. Those shoot checks, about $100,000 worth check A, check B, and check C. Been on this channel since the month of March, and now we have seven new categories of checks. Ten categories of checks now covered in today's broadcast from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Good morning. We have a big broadcast today. We have the latest details on inflation, recession, the housing market. And then in the big second half, we'll go over the latest details of why Wall Street say there's going to be a pivot. Are they right? Are they wrong? We'll have the latest details across the board. We'll go over those 10 categories of checks and why it's not 10 checks. It's 10 categories of checks. We'll analyze the difference in today's recording. Plus, we'll get a preview of today's afternoon show at 3 o'clock and today's evening show at 5 o'clock. It's a big broadcast, and I'm excited you're here. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, there's a lot going on on this big morning's broadcast. Because the toast is toasted, the butter is buttering, and the coffee is brewing. We got your lifetime stimulus, your seven stimulus checks, and more. The latest details heat up. For a big, new, beautiful August 19th, 2022, it's Mornings Ally, starting right now. And good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful day here along the coast for an August 19, 2022. Hope you're having a beautiful day. We got a lot of major stories heating left and right. It started, of course, earlier this week with those earnings that came in on the retail side. We'll be analyzing whether the recession is manifesting itself or not. In those earnings recession, we'll have a preview to this weekend's shows. We have a lot of new shows this weekend going over your money and also this economy. We'll be looking back at those labor numbers that came in the yesterday and what it says for this economy and what it doesn't. We'll be looking at that lift of your benefits, the biggest lift of a generation, and this is a lifetime stimulus. And what do we know today about inflation that we didn't know yesterday? Then, of course, we'll go over those four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. A lot of money. Those three categories of checks that we started with, and now seven new categories of checks that became law passed last weekend. Boy, it's a big broadcast. I'm excited you're here. So much to go over. But we start first with that earnings recession and the big shocker on the retail numbers. How are you? I hope you're having a beautiful day. How's the weather where you are? It's been beautiful here in Southern California. For August 19, 2022, usually, usually, August is brutal and September is brutal here in Los Angeles. But the weather forecaster, if you believe him, <laughs> if you believe him, says it's all in the 60s all the way to October. Oh, boy. Summer's over here in Southern California. I'm loving it. No scorcher this year. Just a stimulus scorcher. <clears throat> so you can wear lobster shorts inside and turn on the heat. <laughs> Let's go with the latest details on those earnings numbers that we got in. Well, 
Yesterday, Target was a bloodbath, and so was Kohl's. And the day before that, not so much. It's been retail earnings numbers this week, and Kohl's miss, but Kohl's was not the only narrative. Some companies actually beat. Let's go over what happened left and right. On the Kohl's front, they came in and they basically missed on top and bottom. But in the same day, we had other companies that had actually great numbers. Beat, Tapestry, Estee Lauder, Beat, Bath and Body Works, Beat, and Cisco Beat. So it wasn't all bad news. Interesting. The day before that, it was Target. Really bad story. Target guided downward in the month of Mar May, then guided further downward in the month of June, and then missed <laughs> when they reported earnings on Thursday. Not good across the board. What do we look at that labor number? That labor number released on Thursday was a shocker as well. That labor number came in better than expected. Jobless claims are released every Thursday by the Department of Labor, and we were looking at a higher number. I was wrong for the first time on this channel. I said it was going to go to 265. In fact, it went the other direction. It went to 250. It went down from 260 the prior week to 250. Slight improvement, but should you celebrate? No, because it's, oh, it's still the second highest number of the year. What are we also looking as well? We're looking at the latest numbers on that manufacturing that was released yesterday, and that is actually interesting. What was that manufacturing number released late yesterday? Manufacturing number shows that there's actually more manufacturing picking up. That's also a really good sign of a strong economy. In the month of June, the number was a negative 12.6, meaning less manufacturing contraction shrinking. And the number released yesterday was the other direction, a positive 6.2. Wow, that's a real shocker. So labor better, manufacturing better. And then when we look at those corporate earnings, you know, some retail's not better, some are better. Really surprising. But one thing consistently weaker is housing. Housing has been hit badly all this week, all last month. And the data came in yesterday, came in this morning as well. Let's look at that situation with housing. Housing started to really implode last month when we had a series of data released last month, day after day, missing and missing and missing. What was that housing data initially on this channel? The housing data basically signaled that when you look at the numbers left and right, they're not good. And what were they? When you looked at that new home starts, when you look at the existing home starts, when you looked at the builder's confidence, they were all down last month. And then this week, it was much the same. Yesterday, we had the shocker when home builder's cancellation rates surged out of control double since the month of April. This is basically people who went to sell a home and then got cold feet. They said, uh, I, I looked and there's no $12 ice cream close by. <laughs> it's not close to a San Francisco hairstylist. I got to back out of the buy of this home. I'm just, I'm just gonna buy, I'm not going to buy this home. <laughs> so the home cancellations were out of control. Double since the month of April and Significantly higher in Texas, 27% cancellation of, of purchases of homes. These are homes that people are about to buy. They backed out. 27% backed out in Texas. 25% southwest, which is in close California. And the, the numbers are not alone because guess what the other numbers were? Late yesterday, we had the existing home sales number, and we have not seen that number in a few weeks, and that number was weaker as well. Existing home sales fell in the month of June, and this is the consecutive number, and this is basically par for the course. Then, when we look at the last number, that was the August 15th number, it was the National Association of Home Builders, Wells Fargo Housing Market Index. It was a bad number, and they it caused them, the National Association of Home Builders Chief Economist Robert Dietz, to say, you have a housing recession. Housing recession. Tighter monetary policy from the Federal Reserve and persistent and elevating construction costs have brought on a housing recession. So there you go. Existing home starts down. New home starts down. Building confidence down. NASA Associated Home Builders saying a housing recession. Very clear recession for housing today. Now, let's jump over to what this means for you and the raise of your benefits. The raise of your benefits are impacted by housing because it's one of the many inflationary gauges we're looking at. 
And what is going on with those benefit raises? Let's start with that analysis starting right now. Your benefits are going up a lot. Why? Because your benefits are tied to inflation. About $5,000. We'll go over the calculation more about that in a second. Who is this? You, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits. And why is this happening? Because inflation is really high. Now that you understand the story, let's go into the background on it, the inflation, and then we'll go back over to the calculation. Basically, how much are your benefits going up? We're going to start by jumping into that inflationary story. The inflationary story brings us back to the month of May. When inflation continued to track higher, the retail sales went higher, CPI went higher, PPI went higher. What happened this last week and before that? First of the month of May, the inflation surged dramatically. Which number? The CPI, Consumer Price Index, which gauges how much you pay for milk and eggs and similar items in the store. 8.6 surged to 9.1 in the month of June. And that is a raise of your benefits huge across the board. What did we look at then? We understood that inflation was going up. <laughs> it had gone up from May to June. We went to see July. We saw July last week, August 10th. And what was that number? It was a little bit lower on the headline number, the summary number, 8.5%, a little bit lower. But when you look at the component parts, it was actually higher month to month. This is why the viewership of this channel has been doing really well. You've been in the live chats. I've seen you in the live chats where you say, yeah, but this component of, the, of inflation is actually up. You're right. Month to month, what would we see go up? Salaries up. Rent up. Products you buy in the supermarket, like milk and egg, up. And the only thing that was really considerably down in that month was gasoline. So, when you look at the component of inflation, the components, do you believe inflation right now is really the same as it was the prior month or going higher? Jump in the live chat right now. The same or higher, same or higher. If that's your answer, yes, then you believe that inflation is basically flat. This last week, we had the CPI, when you look at the component numbers, actually flat or higher. The PPI, flat or higher. And the retail sales released yesterday, flat or higher. And if you believe that's flat or higher, then we're in a great situation. Why? Let's go over the calculations starting right now. Your benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad benefits, are tied to something called COLA, Cost of Living Adjustment. And that number is determined by three months of data. Which data points? CPI-W, a component of CPI, for the month of June, July, August, and September. The July number was released last week, August 10th. The August number is coming on September 10th, but we're living it right now. If you can see the milk and the egg in the stores, you can experience and extrapolate and predict what's going on with that inflation right now in the live chat. And then one month after that, September release in October. If you believe inflation is flat or higher, then you believe that you're locking in lifetime benefits, the largest lift of a generation. Why? This is the way benefits work. Once they go up, they never go down. So let's say they're going to go up 20%. They go up, they never go down. That's 20% lifetime. If next year inflation goes in at, let's say, uh, 10%, then it'll go up another 10% on top of that 20%. This, my friends, is a lifetime stimulus. This is a lifetime stimulus. The best stimulus we could ever have hoped for on this channel, and it's happening right now. So let's go back into the calculation of the numbers. Basically, we need to see two more months of data to be official, but we don't actually have to wait out the CPI over two more months. We can see inflation in the supermarket. We can see inflation in the, in, the, in the rent. We can see inflation in the salaries. And if we believe it's flat, then your benefits are really going up. If we believe inflation is actually tracking higher, then it may even go higher. What are the possible numbers? The Seniors League, a nonprofit, nonprofit organization, looked at that CPI from last week, 8.5%. And they said, based upon that 8.5%, where they're projecting your benefits to go up 10.1%. What am I saying? I think the 10.1 is conservative. Do you think it's conservative or liberal? Jump on the live chat, conservative or liberal. I think it's conservative because if you believe salaries, rent, consumer staples are basically where they are maybe going higher, 
then you think it's then it's a little too it's a little too conservative. It's a little too conservative. And if you believe gasoline may go offline with refineries going offline because of hurricanes or tornadoes in September, usually traditionally, and more demand in the winter months as as more people get cold, then you may think it tracks higher. Incredible. We have more data for inflation coming up later this week and next week. We'll be tracking it on this channel across the board. But the big other story is those seven categories of new stimulus checks that became law this last weekend. Passed by Congress last weekend, seven new categories of stimulus were passed, and the huge news heats up right now. It's a big week, and it's just getting started. These seven categories of stimulus are in addition to the three categories of stimulus that have been on this channel since the month of March. Let's go over the seven new categories of stimulus passed by Congress by, uh, by vote last weekend. Mainly featured in a primetime special on this channel and Sunday at 4 o'clock Pacific Standard Time last weekend. They've now been in the newsletter since Monday. And let's go over the seven categories of stimulus. I give them check E to K uh, markation so you know which they are. They're in the membership newsletter down around the fourth or fifth line. E to K. Check E is $7,500. Check F is $4,000. Check G is 30%. Check H is twenty is $2,000. Check I, $8,000. Check K, $8,000. Excuse me, I butchered that. Check I, $8,000. Check J, also $8,000. And check K, $14,000. That is seven new categories of fourth stimulus checks that became law last Sunday. So exciting. They are in addition to the three categories of four stimulus checks that have been on this channel since the month of March. Check A, check B, and check C. And viewers are beginning them and have been cleaning up. Let's look at those first three categories right now. Done by executive action of Joseph Biden, they're huge sums of money, about $100,000, and you qualify. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you're on benefits, if you're not on benefits, go get it. Become a member. Go on to this video, join the channel, and become a member to get these first three categories of checks and these seven new categories of checks. A total of 10 categories of checks. Go on this video, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Get these huge sums of money. You deserve them left and right. These incredible checks are about $100,000. Single individual, $75,000 less, married couple. It's federal stimulus. It's from the federal government. It's not from your states, and you deserve them. We're going to go over all those incredible checks in the big second half. But one of the benefits of becoming a member, one of the great benefits of becoming a member is the membership newsletter and everything that's in there. And one of the things in the membership newsletter that's been a big winner has been the worksheets. Here are the worksheets. The worksheets are a series of pages, a PDF you can print out from yourself from your home. Where do you find the worksheets? The worksheets are down in the newsletter around the third line. So first you have the price of corn, wheat, and oil. Then you have the worksheets. Then you have check A, B, and C. And then you have the seven new categories of checks. What do we know about these worksheets today? Page one, inflation. Well, inflation may have peaked with the top line number, but the core numbers are actually tracking higher month to month. This is big news for your benefits. We'll have more about this tonight on Afternoons at 3 o'clock. Recession. How's a recession? Very pronounced, very, very marked out, says the National Association of Home Builders. The big second half will go over the full recession of this economy. Then labor. Wow. Jobless claims fell from 260 to 240. 50 this week, but nothing to celebrate about. That is just still the second highest unemployment claims of the year. And the Federal Reserve. This is a big story today on this channel. I'll cover it a little bit in the second half, but it's especially on afternoons at 3 o'clock. You don't want to miss that show. My projection is the Federal Reserve is going to do 75 basis point increases in those September to December meetings. And no one else is saying that. The fact that no one else is saying that is worrying me, and I'll explain to you why in the big second half. Now, let's go to that next page of the worksheets. Oh, my goodness. Incredible. Last Saturday, one viewer got 14 months of rent. Days before, another viewer got, another viewer got 14 months of rent. 
Another viewer got 12 months of utilities. Spelly got check A and check C. And one viewer out of Florida got 80 to 100 checks. This is the page that's making the difference. It's a table. And today I want to explain a little bit more about this table. It's a table for you to keep track of all the checks you apply for. And while the table has maybe only 20 or 30 lines, you're going to need to really print out this table in multiple copies. Why? Let's go over what's at issue. Check A, the weatherizing grant check, is really one check. But check B is 80 to 100 checks. You need to keep track of all the checks you're applying for in that category of check B. Check C, it's all your utilities and your rent or mortgage. That's five checks per month. 18 months, 14 months, a lot of viewers are getting 14 months of, of check B now. So you're going to have to keep track of 14 different items, uh, 14 months of, of, of five checks per month. That's a lot of items to keep track of. And then we go over to check C. It's much the same thing. Check C, you have 12 places to reach out to, five checks per month. And you're going to shoot for 12 to 14 months. It's a lot of checks to keep track of. And that is why. You're not applying for 10 checks. When I say 10 categories of checks, it's not 10 categories of checks. It's hundreds and hundreds of different checks. That's how this channel has expanded so quickly in just the last few days. Now, that wonderful viewer out of Florida, she had filled out this page of the worksheet, but she forgot she had filled it out. And then she got the message from the state of Florida. Ma'am, you've been approved. For what? Check B. Oh, she went back to her worksheet and looked and she had filled it out. She just forgot she had it. Check B, she applied for her mortgage. So she got approved for her mortgage, but not one month, 18 months of her mortgage. And then she had also applied for all her utilities. Four utilities plus a mortgage. That's five checks per month, 18 months. Folks, that's 80 to 100 checks. And she is not alone. That is why you want to become a member. That's why you want to keep track of all these incredible checks you apply for across this Force to Most News. The next page of the worksheet is the benefit lift of your benefits. You can run those calculations, 10.1% raise of your benefits. At 11%, you can do the calculations and see the possible situation for you. On evenings, I like we're going to go over the next two pages, which are student loan debt forgiveness and also the gasoline. Major breaking news on student loan debt forgiveness. The president's not going to get it done before August. Why? I have the latest details tonight in prime time at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. But in the big second half, we're going to go over check A, check B, and check C. The first three categories of checks together on this channel. We're going to go over all those three checks together. So go on to this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple, Pop, Purple Power, and Calcino VIP. And then in the big second half, we're going to go over what we need to know about this September issue with the Federal Reserve and what Wall Street is and isn't saying. About that, plus a recession. It's hideously important. And we'll go over the latest details and a preview of what's happening today on Afternoons. But first, become a member of Purple Hawk, Purple Hawk, Casino VIP. I'll see you back in 60 seconds. As Morning Delight continues, live on air from the shores of Santa Monica, California. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m.
Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Light. And a big week continues right now from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Hope you're having a beautiful morning for August 19, 2022. It has cooled down considerably, but this weekend it's heating up. I'll have a lot more stimulus news for you this weekend as the countdown to the launch of L8-2 and L8-3 is underway. In the big second half, we're going to go over those 10 categories of checks and why you want to get all these incredible checks across the board. Plus, in the big second half, we're going to go over the latest details on this recession and why Wall Street has not embedded that risk into the markets and what it means for you. Boy, we got a big second half. I'm excited you're here. How are you? hope you're having a beautiful day. And join me throughout the day because there is a lot of breaking news on a beautiful day today. In this big second half, we go over these incredible four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. The first three categories of checks, check A, B, and C, became law in the month of March. Thank goodness. Viewers have been getting them ever since. Have you gotten them as well? I'm going to show you how to get them starting right now. Done by executive action of Joseph Biden. It's a series of different checks. And I had three focuses at the time. Number one, big amounts of checks, because I was the only one saying in February, we're going to recession, and you need big money because it's going to be a two-year recession. Number two, broad eligibility. Single individual, 75000 less, go get it. Married couple, 150000 less, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you don't, go get it as well. Number three, ease of application. I want to make it easy for you to get it. Go down into the membership newsletter. Go to check A, apply. Check B, apply. Check C, apply. So simple. And we're going to do it together starting right now. Check A is a $6,500 to $12,000 for stimulus check in every U.S. state. And it is so simple. And this is the check that Spelly got. Let's look at that check A starting right now. $6,500 to $12,000 for stimulus check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. How do you get it? Step one, go under this video and become a member. Join the channel. Then go into the membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Go down to check A, choose your state, choose the weatherizing grant, and go get it. So simple. You're not done there yet. You're going to go get check B. Check B is fifteen dollars to $80,000. A beautiful for a stimulus check in every U.S. state. This is the check the viewer out of Florida got. 80 to 100 checks. And yes, yeah, some viewers are getting a lot more than 80000 How do you get this check? Step one, go under the video, join the channel. Then go into the membership newsletter, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Go down to where it says check B, click the link, go right into your state, and go get it. Look at that. That is $100,000 right there. From check B, $80,000. Check A, $12,000. You're not done there yet. You're going to go get check C. Check C is astronomical. It is rent, utilities, mortgage assistance. This is the checks that viewers have been getting in the last few days as well. The viewer last Saturday, 14 months of rent. The other viewer, 14 months of rent. The other viewer, 12 months of utilities. Spell it got check C as well. How do you get it? Step one, become a member. Go down the membership newsletter. It tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. It's for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and more. And check C has been on this channel. For over two years, it's the big legacy of this channel. I've been getting people check C since December 2020. Nearly $15 million has been gotten by viewers of this channel from very different items, including check C's. And this is incredible sums of money. Became third stimulus, still around. Let's look at some of the success stories for check C. From twenty dollars to $30,000 for rent, go get check C. For these, for utilities, like $15,000 for Mark's brother-in-law, go get check C. Snap, $250,000 over 10 years for that same brother-in-law. Combinations. Nisi went from $23,000 to $50,000. Mark went from $32,000 to $166,000. He was at this graphic, and then he went to this graphic. And Lorraine, she was at fifty, dollars and then she went to $150,000. The importance of Check C is that it is so much money. It is rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, and more. And you can do it, and you sh can do it right today. Remember, when we talk about these checks, it's categories of checks, not the actual check. So Check C is rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance. For example... Utilities. You have four utilities per month. 
That's four per month. How many months? Well, when I initially saw his recording, Check C, two years ago, I said, go get three to four months. The viewers of this channel have been taking the learning and earning more than I'm even educating. So they're not doing three months. They're doing 12 months, 14 months, 18 months of Check C's now. Yes, take what you learn on this channel and do it bigger and bolder. And that's the success stories that have been coming in all this week. Get massive sums of money, left and right. Do as big as you can do it and you can achieve everything you desire. If you're on live chat, post your success story. If you had a success story, send it to me on private message, facebook.com forward slash LA News, and I'll feature it live on air. 10 categories of checks, not 10 checks, lots of money, and you want to get this money right now. Go into the video, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP, and congratulations to all the new members, to the returning members, to the upgrade members, and to the people who got lots of checks this week as well. Remember, seven new categories of checks on top of the three categories we just went over. You now have 10 categories of checks. And when more checks become available, they go right into that membership newsletter. And congratulations to everyone who pounced last weekend when the news broke. The expression Purple Hawk was birthed by me. It describes someone who pounces because it's first come, first serve. When I had that breaking news last Sunday that there were seven new categories of checks passed by Congress, I had a primetime special at 4 o'clock. There's no, normally not a show at 4 o'clock. And I said, get into the live chat. I got some news to deliver for you. And immediately I said, the following Monday, which is the next day, it would be right in the newsletter. And people have been pouncing to get these sums of money. That's what you do. You pounce. It's first come, first serve. And I'm so proud of you. I will go over more about this later in this accordion. The other story I want to touch on today is a shocker. The shocker is what's going on with Wall Street and the Federal Reserve. This is a big shocking story. And ultimately, it is big for you because it could impact you in a negative calamity. Let me explain what's at issue. And it starts with the Federal Reserve in September. The Federal Reserve returns in September, and what do they do? They'll have an interest rate spike. They've said that. We all understand that. But what happens after September? The Federal Reserve meets once a month, and the Federal Reserve has a dual mandate. Number one, maximum employment for labor in the United States. Number two, control inflation, meaning keep inflation under control. They have said that. That's the law, and that's what they have to do. But what else is brewing out there? Something called the pivot. What is the pivot? The pivot is a series of comments coming out of Wall Street executives, Wall Street analysts, and Wall Street traders that says the Federal Reserve is going to change and pivot. Excuse me? This is what the story is being said by Wall Street analysts. The Federal Reserve will come in the fall and at some time will pivot and stop doing interest rate spikes. That's the story that Wall Street traders are saying. Does it make sense? No. Why? Number one, the Federal Reserve is not going to leave inflation alone at 8%. It has a constitutional requirement to get inflation under control. So 8% is not an appropriate level for inflation. That's ridiculous. Number two, the Federal Reserve will raise interest rates until they get inflation down to its target rate of 2%. To say that the Federal Reserve is going to sort of stop and not do anything else is not what the Federal Reserve does, not what the Federal Reserve is created for. And it's very bizarre that Wall Street would even say that. What does the Federal Reserve actually said themselves, whether it's Bullard, Daly, or Bowman, those Fed governors in the last seven days? We need inflation down to 2%. And we're likely to stay with the same interest rate spikes that we've had so far until we achieve that. Well, if you listen to that, what does that clearly sound like? They did 75 basis point interest rate spike in the month of June and the month of July. That sounds like they're basically gonna stay with 75 basis point in September and thereafter until they get inflation to 2%. Sort of obvious, don't you think? Well, that is why this channel has been projecting and predicting that the Federal Reserve in September through December September through December, we'll have 75 basis point increases for interest rate spikes. What am I concerned about? 
I'm concerned about that for August 19, 2022, and all this week, I'm the only broadcaster that's saying this. Why am I worried about this? Because Wall Street's job is to assess risk. If there's a risk of a negative event out there, they're supposed to assess the risk and put that risk into the market. If they don't assess the risk and then the event happens, the market crashes because they've not embedded the risk into the markets. The fact that the markets have not embedded the risk of multiple interest rate spikes at 75 basis point is deeply troubling to me. It's deeply troubling to me. Because if there are multiple basis point interest rate spikes at 75 basis point and they've not assessed that risk and it's not in there, imagine what's going to happen. It's not so much a story of I'm reporting and projecting versus they're not projecting. That's not the story. The story is that Wall Street is supposed to assess the risk of events in the future. And the Federal Reserve was created to create to control inflation. Inflation is 8.5%. You can't keep inflation at 8.5%. The Federal Reserve has said they're going to have interest rate spikes consecutive, consecutively till they get inflation to 2%. And there's no reason to think that the interest rate spikes are less than 75 basis point because they said they're staying with 75 basis point. And amidst all that, Wall Street thinks that the Federal Reserve is going to change its policy and do nothing in October. I'm worried. I'm deeply worried. Ultimately, you don't own stocks, potentially, don't own bonds. But if Wall Street crashes, if the stock market crashes, because no one assessed the risk of multiple consecutive 75 basis point increases from the Federal Reserve throughout this fall all the way into December, this is no bueno for anyone. And ultimately, what do you need to do? Ultimately, what you need to do is prepare accordingly. Increase all your savings on hand. Increase all your savings on hand. Get as much stimulus as you can. And remove all adjustable rate debt. If you have any debt at home, whether it's credit card debt or car loan, that debt will go up if the Federal Reserve raises interest rates after the month of September. Imagine September, October, November, December. That's four months. If there's four months of interest rate spikes of 75 basis point consecutively, that's a lot of interest rate spikes. Imagine how more expensive that debt will be. You don't want to endure massive interest rates in December by carrying that debt at that point. If you can remove the debt, remove the debt. Finally, my comments today. I'm very proud of you. You've been doing a great job. You've been doing a great job in many regards. One. You've been applying for check A categories check A's to C, and you've been taking the learning of this channel and doing bigger and bolder. When I initially recorded check C's no less than two years ago, I said three or four months of rent. You're now getting 14 months of rent. You're doing a really good job. Number two, you're inspiring other people. You're jumping the live chat. You're posting your success story. You're encouraging people. You're congratulating people. That is the true spirit of the purple power. If you've had a success story, send it to me on private message at facebook.com forward slash LIFE news. Number three, you've been great in trying to know where things are in this economy. In two regards. One, you've been in the live chat saying, yeah, but I see this with the milk and eggs. Yes, but I see this with the gasoline. And I see this with the rent. You're laser focused on understanding the components that comprise inflation and how it impacts recession. You're learning really well. Moreover, you're observing really well. You're in the stores. You're observing the price of milk and eggs, how many people are check out and helping as employees, or how many are laid off. You're observing the changing tide of the economy because ultimately, if you learn, you earn. You're doing a great job. Keep it up. And welcome to all the new members as well. If you're watching the show when it airs live on air, you're next going to go into the home show at 11 a.m. Then we have the big show of afternoons at 3 o'clock. If you're watching this live feed, you'll be updated with new live feeds throughout the day. And then don't miss evenings I like tonight at 5 o'clock. Have you become a member? Make sure you become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. The news is just getting started. And stay with me all weekend long as you get ready for the countdown 
of the launch of LA2 and LA3. From the shores of San Monica, California, God bless. Stay informed and stay focused. Have a beautiful morning because the toast is toasting, the butter is buttering, and the coffee is brewing. It's a new day, and it's just getting started on Alight. <laughs>